Hello guys, welcome back to Programming with Rana Vakas. Today's tutorial is on static keyword and that why we use static keyword in programming and what happened when we put static keyword uh, inside the class or static keyword with uh, an object or static keyword inside any function. So where we can use this static keyword. So let's discuss at four places you can use this static keyword inside the class first of all i will tell you uh, when we use inside the function static inside function or static object or static functions uh, these are four places where you can put static keyword so first of all let's take an example of static uh, variable inside function so let's make here a function void fun and let's make a variable here integer i so let's suppose i put here i is equal to zero uh, that i variable will initialize with the value of zero and let's write here i plus plus it will make a increment of one in this i variable so let's see out the value of i So let's call this function here fun to so check what will happen so you can see a value of i is 1 so let's call again this fun method so you can see here two time value of i is 1 and again value of i is uh, basically when you call this function fun so in the memory this i variable takes 4 byte for this call and uh, when you call this fun then again i will take memory of 4 byte for uh, this function call and, uh, now let's write here static so basically static is used for a shared memory now these both calls will share a single variable of i at first call of this fun uh, this i variable will be declared inside the memory on the ram and uh, when at line number 14 you call fun again so i will not uh, declared again for this function call i is already declared uh, in previous call on ram and uh, you will use that i at this fun call so now you can see here uh, the value of i is 1 and the value of i is 2 so basically uh, at first system call at first fun call uh, you can see that i is equal to 0 and i plus plus will become i1 and uh, at this call i is already 1 and now this statement this statement will not be executed again and this i plus plus will be executed and it will add 1 into that one uh, which basically uh, written by this function call at line number 13 so let's call another fun you you will see that value of i is 1 value of i is 2 and value of i is 3 so by using this static keyword you can check that how many times this function is called so let's take another example of inside the class so i will use static variable inside the class so i can put here my class which i already uh, declared for you this this is class of students so let's suppose here i make a variable a static variable let's suppose count so i have made here a count variable of uh, type int so guys you cannot uh, initialize this variable here so you should have to so basically uh, you are thinking that uh, why i am not writing here count is equal to zero so this student uh, constructor will call at each object declaration so at each declaration this count will become zero so i don't want to uh, write zero at each call of this constructor so let's uh, write here outside the class so guys initialize the variable count here outside the class for that you have to write here data type of that count so the data type is int and the class name is student 
uh, right here scope resolution operator double colon and right here count and uh, right uh, and store zero into that count or you can store one uh, you can store here one so this one will go into the count variable so let's suppose make an object here student student let's suppose s so at this line number 48 uh, oh, default constructor will be called so in default constructor you just you should just write here see uh, count plus plus so you will see here when uh, i write here uh, let's suppose int get count so you can write here return the value of count so i can write here c out s dot get count so you will see you will see two here because uh, you have stored this one here so if you store a zero at this function call default constructor will uh, increase the value of count by one as you can see here at line number 14 uh, so when you get the count so it will be displayed as one it means that one object of this student class is declared in main function so let's make another object so the object is let's suppose s2 or you can say here stu so at stu again default constructor will be called and the previous value of count is one as i told you in uh, two to three uh, minutes before i told you that the static variable is a shared memory which is shared by different function calls or uh, different objects it means that count variable is same for the student s and same for this student stu so when you will write here stu dot get count so you will see here you will see firstly one and secondly it will become uh, two uh, as you can see here one and two so let's remove this count from here uh, so let's make uh, three objects here student s2 student as five these, these all are objects of student class at each call of default constructor uh, the count variable will be incremented by one so let's write here uh, s dot get count so you will get the uh, exactly the value of count that how many objects or at how many places default constructor is called so default uh, constructor was called four times so you can see here four so for stu count variable will be same so you can see here four so you can use this static variable for uh, uh, to check that how many objects of class are declared in the main function or at something else so i hope so you have uh, you are cleared about this static variables inside the class now the static objects we can discuss here static objects also uh, so let's make an static object here in the function let's suppose this is my temp function temp fun uh, so let's make an object of the student class here so guys the constructor default constructor will be called here and its uh, destructor will be called here so to check you can write here c out c out sorry c out constructor called and copy this line and paste it inside the destructor and write destructor you can write here destructor so whenever you will call this stamp fun and let's suppose here you are printing the message here is my here is my message so you will see the output constructor called destructor called and here is my message 
So when the compiler will come at line number 60, it will go inside the temp fun call. So it will declare the, an object of name s and default constructor is called here and destructor is called here. So let's make it static. So by making it static, it will not destroy here when your program will end at line number 63. So after the execution of whole code, uh, which you have written uh, in the main function so at the end of your program uh, the destructor for this s will be called as you can see here run this code so you can see here constructor call here is my message and at the end of main call destructor is called so I hope so you are cleared about this static objects uh, so now what about the static function so let's make a static function inside the class so let's suppose uh, this int count or this get name is a static method so I can write here static let's suppose now this get name method is a static method so guys whenever you make static uh, functions or static anything inside the class so you can get the you can call the uh, function static functions without using an object you can directly call that object uh, by uh, using the class name or uh, scope resolution or uh, scope resolution operator so you can write here get, get so where is get name here is get name so you can call here get name uh, so don't worry uh, it will not give you any value so uh, let's write here so let's uh, make uh, different objects here s1 s2 s3 so uh, make this get count as static so we can uh, call this get count method without uh, using object name so uh, before you were calling uh, get count method such like this s1 dot get count now you can call the get count method without using object you can uh, you can call that me method by using class name so class name is student so student double colon get count so you will uh, see three here so why why the count will be three at s1 the count will become one at s2 the count will plus plus and it will become two and uh, at this uh, here here default constructor also called for s3 and count will become three so you will see message here three so let's run this code so as you can see here three so these all constructors three constructors were called by these this is uh, line number 60 and at line number 65 the all destructors will be called so if you don't know about destructor and constructor so uh, you can go in the description of my video I have put the link of my tutorial on constructors and destructors so you will be cleared about that concept also i hope you understood the concept of this static keyword so guys if you understood my tutorials like my video and don't forget to subscribe my channel and share these videos with other people who want to learn programming